With the Seymour HMI, you can log data from the line trend graph into a CSV file. This file logs for 24 hours and a new file is created each day at midnight. The file can then be stored on an external USB or SD drive. You can simultaneously log data from 16 line trend graphs or PID faceplate line trend graphs. Then you can store up to 999 log files, but there is a limitation with the naming. Let's say that we have this line trend graph on this screen. The screen name is this, and the line trend object has this name. If we look at the resulting file name, it'll display like this. With this being the screen name, this being the line trend graph object name, and this being the date. But internally in Seymour, that shortens into this. Here is where this limitation comes in. There can only be 999 files at one time with the same first four characters. So if you need to log multiple line trend graphs, make sure to name each screen that has this line trend graph with unique first four characters of the screen name. If you do have multiple line trend graphs logging on the same screen, the internal file name will be the first two letters of the screen and the next two letters will come from the line trend graph name. If you do have multiple line trend graphs logging on the same screen, with this just make sure that the line trend graph name has unique first two characters. Now to turn on logging on a line trend graph, it could not be easier. Open up your line trend graph object, select the option tab, and then check this box. Here you can see what the resulting file name will be, and here you can select where to store this log file. To show you how this will look, I will run this project in Simulator. I will open up my virtual SD2 card. Here is my log folder. And here is my files. And now I'm going to select to open this in Excel. And that's how it looks. With Seymour, you get the advanced HMI tools to get the job done, but at the right value. To see more videos on collecting data in Seymour, see this playlist. To find out more on the Seymour line, click here. And also make sure to subscribe to our channel here to keep up to date with our helpful tips and products.